Okay, welcome to my second tutorial. And uh, in the previous tutorial, I talked about everything that you're seeing. Yeah, I spent more on them. So um, let me go to our templates. Yes. Okay. So now we have. Let me do this. Okay. So we have a kind of background. Okay. This color is different from that. So. What we're going to do, we're going to create this header right now. So this can be okay. Let me add some extensions on my browser. Sorry, on my browser that help me. Wow. Okay, let me figure this. Okay, my word font does not work on look how um, websites does web pages on my system so that means I have to pick into some of their codes let me see if colorzilla works huh? colorzilla doesn't work too but I'll show you later how to use this so now we have something we call a containing tag it really contains like it encloses a part of, or section of a website this um, tags are like tags like section and div so uh, want to do div so another div again now I'm going to do this should be so this is wow well, so this what well, this um okay this kind of flag I wish I can hold it where it has h1.w3 jumbo um, is something what font does so okay so it's an h1 tag so h1 um online store mission okay and this should be a p tag yes um yeah so I'm just looking at the fonts and out uh, what to do with them. So, um, this is 15px of margin. So, um, p. Sorry. P tab. So, at the end of the day, our site might not look actually the same. So, okay. So, let me look at the height of this. Now in CSS we add CSS into a um, into a web page two way in three ways. So um, the width is okay. It's the item specifying on the height is two eight six. So so let me do class. So I'm going to show you the three ways you can add CSS to your web page. So this place in this case I'm using external uh way so uh, let me just do header to bg okay so let me css so i have my style of css so dot header bg height what's the height again um so it is so it's six px. Then you do width hundred percent. Now I know in their own code they used pixel, but when I started with um, CSS, uh, I was using percents just to make it responsive. Okay, I think there's an animation. Okay, that means we're going to talk about animation, right? Okay, let me add a color. BGC. See, not really. So I'm, this is the color I'm looking for. So, wow, well, not a white color, right? So it's F1, F1, F1. So, wow, wow. Oh, I haven't linked my. Yes, yes. So let's come to see the code a link tag. 
sorry, link CSS, link style, CSS slash CSS. See, so I'm going to do something else um, and do this. So I want to remove the space around this. It's kind of annoying to me. I hate that. So I'm going to use this asterisk. Uh, I don't really know what it is, but I think it's kind of select the whole body. I like to do it right. I'll do margin zero. Okay. So I did it right. So let me do it like this. Okay, we're having something close. So this is a font size of 64 px, and don't worry, font width of 400. So dot header. Um. Okay, let me finish this by jumping each one. Um. Font size. For PX, right? Oh, it's just for the font switch. Font switch. Four hundred. Uh, margin. So I know I'm just re basically writing the code. Okay, let me know what this man might be. Is it? Yes. This is the reason why I'm getting that error. So let me. Okay, so we have what we call selectors. Okay, before I explain what selectors are, um, I would like to say before you can learn how to code, you must understand English. I must understand the concept of everything. Then, okay, so um, selectors. What's the, the real definition of select selectors in English? Like you're literally selecting things. So selectors in CSS are um, kind of you, the way you select um, HTML tags. So now I use the class selector. Now once I use this. Um, attributes um, you have a class in it and selecting this whole portion this whole portion right here and um, okay so and this will happen to it okay I think it's even well that okay see element class that same thing like look at so it is telling me how I selected it so in this case, our element is the div, and other things are inside. So, anywhere I have a class BG um, as a class, and there's an H1 in it, it take this form. So let me try and do that again. Control C, Control V. So I remove this. I remove this. So C right here look at it's still the same style I can also do the class I can write something like class BG H1 and it's still the same thing so let me undo those things F5 so let me explain the styles more height uh, you know what height is and like what is your height now is the tonnes or length Yes, the white dimension for mathematicians learning the white dimension from year to year of the website. So with um hundred percent plus with the breadth, the X dimension for this website. Background color, just background color. The margin. Uh, me myself, I'm having sometimes I get confused with this. So shut up property to save values of thickness of the margin area. If left is omitted it is the same as right if bottom is omitted it is the same as top so you can see before i wrote something like 10px 0 
so that means the top pattern is um, 10 pixels and the left is zero so if I put um, four uh, or two yeah this place will be two and this place will be two if it's specific that I kept just two values inside see it has this so let me just undo that so um anything okay font width okay specify the width of glass in the font their degree of blackness or stroke thickness that means just their thickness that I see the thickness that was specifies so let me just let me just play with this Yeah, wow, I think I, I see that the limit. <laughs> I thought it has no limit. So you cannot play around these things and look at how they are. Okay. Now our text here is centered, but ours is not here centered. So let's just quickly do that. So, okay, let's do some mathematics. Ah, I read this react. So, um, let's do it. dot error error text to center. So let's do um align or oh, text align center. Um, okay, let's copy this. Go to HTML. Because this is it. So, so you could have just said, Jerry, why didn't you do this? Yeah, uh, do this. It would be the same thing, but just that's the way I like writing my code. So, in case I have to write something like this, you'll notice this is left out. That's the simple thing. So, I'm just dividing each segment of the page. So, so it is vertically um sorry horizontally aligned to the center but it is not vertically aligned to that box now there's a difference because i use the diff tag to divide it from the body so this place can only take this area it won't take this area unless you specify it and that's some somehow like a taboo so um uh, let me see if vertical line works uh, why, why, why today? Okay, center. Wow, just five content. So, I'm going to use a kind of app to do this. Okay, so the height of this div tag is um, 96. So, let me post it up. Let me put it on my calculator. Okay, let me show you how it works. Uh, Follow me just a little bit about it's about mathematics and English. So you must understand English, you must understand maths. You're not really deep into maths unless you want to go into the math aspect of programming. So, um, since my system is a little bit slow, let me just show you how I'll do it. So I will go, I'm using my phone calculator and the height of the background, which is this is 286 so 286 minus the height of this div tag which is 96 so we have that means this place to this place is 190 you can do the calculation yourself so we want to make it at the center we want to make it at the center so what we have to do is divide it by two wow so 190 divided by 2 is 95. So you recall that during the definition of margin by um, VS Code, it said if you specify um, the top and you don't specify the bottom, it will take it as the value. So let me just make this error. So it's taking the 95, 95 pixel here, another 95 pixel here. So if I do 95 divided by 2, it should give me 47.5. Uh, 
I should uh now it is more in the center. Let's go here. Yeah. So okay. So they had they have um a padding between they have a padding between the text, so let me just put that there. So um um so okay so padding h1 right uh, let me just do this i could have done this okay let's do this for particular sake and you see it's the same thing padding okay we have padding to bottom uh make it um let's just do 10 pixels let me remove this one Oh, sorry for that silly mistake. Now you see it's moving. Also, if I had done something like this, it should still work. So there's no, there's no change. It's still the same thing. The only difference is that when it is text center and is and each one is in it, it will after padding. So let me create the padding to around no twenty five. This is too much. Okay, I think it looks more like it. Uh, let me cancel this again. Okay. Okay, let me just delete some of these things here. So that. Uh, okay. Okay. So let me remove this. Uh. Oh, wow. So mine is still a little bit up. See? So let me move it down a little bit. Um, let me try the 95 fight it back there. Oh. Then I discovered my font size is, is big. That's not even so big. So I'm using the default H1 tag. So the I think they changed the as yeah. So I'm not really copying their code, so let me just go on with us. So we're done. Um, we're done with the. We're done with this side. Okay, it's aligned well. Nice. So let's go to the north. 